What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. I apologize for the break in video from last week. However, I was out at autocross that week so I didn't take any video just because I wanted to focus on driving and having fun. So I apologize if you guys wanted to see some of that but it is what it is. But anyways, today we're just going to be doing another small install. Just some dress up stuff for the Supra. We're not gonna, you know, no performance mods or anything crazy. Really, we're just gonna make parts of the Supra look nice. So, my girlfriend for Valentine's Day decided to get me some dress up parts and I really appreciate that. So, she got me some various blue dress up parts for the engine bay. Right, so we have like the oil cap, um, the heat exchanger cap, coolant cap, AC cap kit and uh, the washer washer fluid cap. So we're just going to be installing those today. It should be pretty straightforward to be perfectly honest. I actually have only looked at the engine bay once. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to see where everything is. It's, it shouldn't be too complicated. And then after that, we're actually going to be installing a new push start button uh, I got from IND and I like it because it's blue and it's gonna fit the rest of the car. I'm gonna keep the car blue. I'm not gonna wrap it like I did the M2, but because there's that blue interior stitching and the car's blue, it's just, you know, flow. That's why I got the blue caps as well. So let's go ahead and open up the Supra engine bay. And we're just down here in a one, two, going up in here for that? No, it does not. Okay, cool. So let's take a look in here. So oil cap, that's obvious. And uh, where is everything else? See, that's the thing. I don't actually know where everything else is. Okay, so honestly, not as straightforward as I thought. Um, yeah, there's like a lot less caps than I, than I expected. To be honest, I thought it'd be really straightforward. I actually haven't actually opened my engine compartment yet, so I actually have no idea. So, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of research. We might actually install the push start. Yeah, you know what? Let's just start the push start button first. That's gonna be easier. And then I'm gonna look up how to uh, get these caps in because I actually have no idea. All right, so we're in the car and here is the IND push start stop button. It's nice and blue. So, installing this is gonna be different than installing it on the M2 Competition. Let me show you guys. Push start stop button is there. Now, apparently you need to use this stuff, which is like a removal putty. It's like really sticky. So I'm gonna take this out. Okay, so this is the removal putty. It's like really, really sticky to the point where I actually don't know if I wanna use it. Like, it's actually sticking to the cap. Okay, so here's a really sticky putty. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to basically squish this onto the button, like that and it's supposed to stick. And then what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to just like one pull, it's supposed to yank out. Now, didn't do that. And there we go, that actually worked. Interesting. All right, and now we're gonna install this. All right, now we got that. Just gonna line that up. Like so. Yep. And there we go. Yeah, that was not too bad. Yeah, I'm sure, of course it'll work. But anyways, that's, that's that. That's the old one, that's the new one. I like the blue. Can't really see it, but that's nice. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's figure out where those caps go. All right, so figured it out. I'm honestly just kind of dumb. Uh, but anyways, all right, so we're first gonna do the, uh, what is this? Let's do these two first. We'll do the heat exchanger cap and the coolant cap. So honestly, really, really easy install. This goes on like here, that. And boom. And this goes on like that. So they're just they're just caps, they're not replacements, which is, is nice. 
um, and you really just like kind of push them on and I, I actually think it looks good. So let's let's do the other two. Actually, let's just bring everything over so I don't have to keep walking back and forth. Getting everything with one hand. So what I really like about these pieces is that they're all uh, metal instead of plastic and so it just looks a lot nicer. Yeah. Okay, so windshield wiper fluid is over here. I'm gonna just pull that, just take that off. We don't actually need this anymore. So the windshield wop the bleh, the windshield wiper fluid cap, this is probably the only thing that's a replacement. And we just fit it on. Oh, probably have to take that off. There we go. It's nice. And then this just fits on right here. That I might need to push in a little bit more. So let's take this off. Okay, got them on. So I took the caps off first, and then um, and then I basically just pushed them in. Uh, just make sure that they're flush. Once they're flush, that that way you know that they're in. So put this small one back on first. Make sure you don't drop it. Now I'm, I'm, I'm wearing gloves, honestly, just because I was driving the car earlier. And I just want to make sure I don't accidentally burn myself or anything like that. Okay, I don't actually know how tight these have to be, but I don't want to, I don't want to over tighten them. Last but not least, oil cap. This was the easy one to find. Honestly, super easy, right? And there, it's on. There we go. And that's basically it. So simple parts, really just to dress up the engine bay a little bit. Uh, I think it looks cool. Definitely not needed if, uh, if you don't need it, but you know, whatever. That This car is definitely gonna be more of my daily. It is my daily. This car is, is not really gonna be receiving too many crazy upgrades. That's gonna be the S2000 for sure. Now, regarding the S2000, I just purchased this Voltex front lip for the Voltex bumper. So yes, that means I am getting a Voltex front bumper for the S2000. I'm pretty excited, I've already ordered it. Uh, I don't really know when it's gonna come in because uh, I do it through Pristine Auto in Fremont and um, my guy there actually just brings it up once he gets it. So once he gets up here, hopefully in like a week or two, then I'll get it and most likely I'll be painting it, paint matching it, Suzuka Blue. The reason why I wanna paint match it and not just like, let's say wrap the car is largely just because, well, I want it to match the car first and then I will decide whether or not I want to actually wrap the car. If I do decide to wrap the car, great. If I don't, at least I have a painted front bumper that will work with the car and I'll be able to utilize it. So if you guys can see, I did buy this lip use. So it did come with a few cracks. So I'm currently uh, fixing those right now. Just some Gorilla Glue. It's really not gonna be that bad. Once this dries, I'm actually just going to sand it down and then I'm just gonna rattle can this entire section black. That way you can't really see it. I mean, you wouldn't really anyways. But yeah, I'm excited. That's. That's coming for the S2000. The S2000, honestly, at this point, S2000 is gonna be getting all the upgrades. With the Supra, there is gonna be Supra content, don't you guys worry, but it's not gonna be a crazy build. I'm not gonna go big wing, I'm not gonna go wide body, and you know, I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna tune it, honestly, uh, but the car will be receiving things like an exhaust, some aero, what, whatnot. But yeah, that's basically it. Super simple, fast, easy install video for some parts that you'll never see if you don't open your engine bay. I mean, whatever. I think it's cool. I think it looks good. 
But yeah. All right, guys. That's basically it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys on the next one.